this is a developing design for the front of a house in Florida in the US, so our units here are decimal feet. And uh, I would just want to check the layout, the presentation of the design before I develop it any further. I have a tab called Plan Architectural C, so that tells me it's going to be the landscape plan, and I'm going to try plotting at a scale of 1 to 64. I swing to that layer, and you see that when I select the floating viewport, it has an arbitrary scale there that uh, isn't suitable. So I'm going to go to the modified drop down and select fixed scale in layout. And I'm asked to select the viewport first. It's, it's already selected. So I'm going to repeat that command and select my viewport, hit enter and Imperial. And now I can type in my, I'll try one to 64 and see how that goes. And that in fact takes the whole of the design. I can unselect all. Notice that down here in the, that uh, there's a band of color representing the lawn. As I zoom in, you can see that band of color extends across. That's because the, let's go back into model. That's because the area through here that's going to be lawned has been set with a transparency of 50. So it's been given a color, 98, and it has a transparency of 50. When we go back to that layout, it's not until we zoom right in do we see where the transparency is going to sit. But of course, you will want to plot the design and see how it looks. To plot it, I don't need that border, so I can set that color of that border to 255, 255, 255 to white. Can't quite hear it, it's up, up there. But let me select color. It's this one down here that you pick color 255. And now when we unselect all, we'll be able to plot this. So if you want that as a PDF file, just go file and save as PDF. Pick window and high and OK it and draw a box pretty much near the outside of the sheet. I won't do that at the moment because that will swing automatically to my PDF writer. And you can try that for yourself. But you should find that the transparent colors do in fact show. And I'll show an example of that at the end. But I'd like to do a little more on the design before we do that. Um, the first thing I notice is that the tool that specifies the number of a particular ground cover species, 77 of them in this area through here and 23 there. That uh, height is a little high. If we select that, that label, it's in fact, if we look in the property, it's a leader. So, and it's a leader in a, in a, lead, in a dimension style standard. So let's just, sorry, let's select that leader and we'll change the dimension style Sorry, I don't want to change the dimension style. I pick that leader, change its style over here from standard to say USA 2, and you'll see that that's got a more appropriate height for the label. So we can use the modify match properties, pick that one and that one, and that brings our leaders into a better looking area. That one can come down or this one can go up. That's reasonable. So those leaders will plot in a reasonable way. If I were specifying some sort of climber across the front fence here, I might want to take advantage of the copy along the line. So I could take this symbol here and just copy it along that line through there. And whoops, when I do that, I see that the front boundary has been uh, indicated with two lines. So I'll delete that one for the moment and just modify and extend with this one here as the boundary and bring that one across. I've added a few more elements to the design and now I'd like to just see how it's going to plot. So I'll come over here and just check. I'm zoomed in. If I zoom out, you'll see that we st we lose the transparency. So I have to zoom right in just to check some things. And you'll notice here that my grassed area doesn't look terribly tidy. I need to do some 
repair work, if you like, in that zone through there. So I'll come back into the model and our problem occurs here. So I need to select in this zone here. I can't see terribly clearly my border here. So what I'm going to do is change that color just for the moment to buy block and it should appear nice and white, which it does. Now I can deal with this issue here where our grass area is overlapping the garden bed. Now I need to add extra vertices. The way to do that is to hover over one of the points, right click and say insert a vertex. We'll do it again, insert a vertex. I'll come here, insert another one. I need a couple of extra ones in here. And that will do for the moment. All I need to do then is just drag these vertices out. I'll make sure to come over here and just object snap is on. You've got to be a little bit careful in that instance because you'll sometimes find the cursor will jump where you don't want it to. Now yeah, ortho's on of course, that's why it was jumping. So I'm nearly done by inserting extra vertices. I hope you can see that we can repair that lack of precision in the edge of the garden there. I won't bother with those. I'm sure you could fix it up. You see now I've got a neat arrangement where things look much tidier. So let me go back to my plan. You can see that looks relatively tidy. It's untidy up in that bit there, but that's easy to fix. So it pays to zoom in to check if you are using transparency. So now it's time to plot. Um, what I have done is type down here scale 1 to 64, that is 3 sixteenths of an inch represented by a, a foot, and uh, we can now produce our PDF file for our client. It's not finished, but you'll get the idea. So it's file, save as PDF. I'll choose window, high resolution, and OK. I'll just come close to the edge of the paper and down here, and I'll call it test PDF, and I'll click save. And my computer swings to Acrobat Adobe Reader. Let me just zoom out a little, and there's our first test plot, if you like. So the transparency features show, even though they didn't show as we were generating the plot, they now show quite nicely. So we've clearly got quite a lot more detailing work to do. We don't have any plant schedule. The rear garden is not uh, developed yet, but the design is taking shape. And I think it's a good idea to, to experiment a little in layout with your scales and see how the plan is going to take shape when you do your final print. Don't run into problems at the final print stage. Check a lot earlier in the design.